So let me ask you something. Do you grow your own plant starts? The answer is yes. Are you using that same setup to grow leafy greens throughout the winter? Maybe you used it in the summer to grow leafy greens then. I hope you are, you probably are, but if not, I'm here to tell you, get growing. It's time. But today is November 17th, and today I'm gonna to start lettuce and spinach and bok choy, hopefully some cilantro, so that come January at the Pantry Challenge, I'm gonna have fresh greens and not have to go to the grocery store. So I hope you'll join me in that. Welcome to Grow and Preserve. I'm Carter, I'm thrilled you're here today. Let's get started. We're back at my crawl space today, and we're still talking about food, although it may not look like it yet. Today we're gonna to talk about growing food. Now, stay with me, don't go anywhere. I know that you know we've all been into the canning and looking at the beautiful pantries, and, and I truly love that part, but I also love having fresh salad in the middle of winter. So I thought I'd bring you down here today as I set up this new grow room down here, which is on the other end of the cross space from my canning pantry that you saw in the last video. So this is a whole new setup for me, and it is, it's huge. This is not how I started growing indoors. I started growing indoors on a tiny little table in front of a window and discovered that I could do it. And that was really all it took. So from there, I ended up with a two foot grow light underneath an upper cabinet in my kitchen. And I was growing on my kitchen counter and I grew and I grew and I grew. So I will show you pictures of that. And then I moved to one of these racks right here. I had this in my office bathroom. That was, uh, that was less than a perfect place for it, but it was all I had. So we had lettuce all summer long when I can't grow it outside in the Tennessee heat. So if you do have a setup that you use for growing your plant starts, you know, why not pull it out and have some fresh salad, some fresh spinach, uh, Swiss chard, whatever it is you want inside over the winter. When it comes time, I know many of you are going to participate with the pantry challenge in January as I have done for the past couple of years, even though I wasn't on YouTube at the time, I always participated and I always had fresh salad. So I always wondered why, why the YouTubers who were participating in the challenge did not have fresh salad. So this year, I'm gonna have fresh salad uh, and I hope that you will as well. So let me show you what I'm doing. This does not take a lot of equipment. These are the egg cartons. You know, this is where I buy my eggs from Costco. No big deal. You cut off the top and the bottom. It's gonna make a lot of noise. I just cut it right down the center here. And I take a knife and just squiggle a little hole in the bottom. And then put the bottom inside the top. And that is all I need to sprout my lettuce seeds. So once the sprouts come up, I'll prick them out and then I'll give them a more, more permanent home and put them in some real potty mix. This is just seed starting mix. It's all you need in the beginning. You could use cocoa coir, you could use peat moss. You don't need any, um, you don't really need any type of nutrition to get to the, them up to the point where you could prick them out and put them in their own container. And at that point you do need some potting soil with some nutrition in it. But we had this past uh, summer, we had on this thing right here, I think I had like six trays of lettuce and that lettuce lasted us four months, literally four months through the entire summer. We had fresh lettuce and I never had to plant another route. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to set this up and uh, I'll come back and show you what I've done. In the meantime, I'm gonna take you through and show you some of the pictures of how I have grown food in the past. And uh, I really encourage you to try to find a place in your house. It, it can be a windowsill, it can be uh, in a kitchen counter, it can be on a bathroom counter, it can be in any any little spot you could find. Maybe it's on a desk, you know, maybe it's in the spare bedroom, maybe it's in a, in a storage area with an extension cord and you have a light mounted. It is really, it's not a big investment and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. You can also, you can grow microgreens and microgreens are delicious and wonderful. And one of the early things that I did 
but I will say those are a lot more high maintenance than just growing some lettuce. Uh, so, but definitely you can look at microgreens. Sprouts are like the easiest thing in the world to grow. You could just grow those in a jar on your kitchen counter. So we're going to do some of that as well. But I'm going to get the lettuce started today. So I'll be getting fresh salads in January during the pantry challenge. And I hope you will too. Okay, I'm going to send you and take a look at some of the other ways I have grown food. And then I'll bring you back when I'm done down here and show you what I've done. This is how I started trying to regrow lettuce from the grocery store in my windowsill. Didn't do much, but it was enough to inspire me to try to grow my own. So I bought a tiny little two foot grow lamp and I connected it underneath my kitchen cabinet as you can see here. I finally expanded and bought a second grow lamp and I was growing microgreens and leafy greens and sprouts and I kept overflowing my space and my husband was wondering what on earth <laughs> was going on. These are radish sprouts, they're delicious, still one of my favorites. I got very much into all of the microgreens and I really enjoyed it. It was like having, you know, my outdoor garden inside. I had all these different crops and things. Uh, but they, you know, they're a little more labor intensive than just growing lettuce. The leafy greens were beautiful. This is just lettuce scattered on top of some soil. Um, this, this one here is not even using soil. This is using a hemp mat. So you can see I grew and I grew and I grew. This is some cabbage uh, microgreens. They're delicious. Start to get into some, growing some head lettuce now at this point. This is a young, immature head. More sprouts. We still do those all the time. Love them. So, you know, here's a typical small harvest for a little salad. But it got to the point where I was doing really large harvest as these heads grew bigger and bigger. And I started growing more and more. And you can see this is the first setup in my bathroom here in this house. Um, so all the leafy greens are down on the bottom. My plant stars were up on the top. Here I am harvesting some more baby leafy greens and growing some more heads out. So as you saw on that little tour, it really doesn't take much to grow food. And I know many of you are already growing food and I hope you'll share in the comments what you're growing and how it works out for you, what kind of space you have and encourage others to start, you know, especially this year. It seems like something that we ought to be doing. So I hope that you will join me in growing some greens indoors this winter, even if it's just a little pot in front of the window or just a little light at your kitchen counter. So let me show you what I've done. And uh, it doesn't look like much now because it's just seeds and dirt, but I'll show you. I just planted three little containers today. So this one over here is going to be baby lettuce. So I literally put in the dirt, sprinkled on the lettuce, and watered it in. It is that easy, and I'll have baby lettuce greens for a salad in 30 days. This one is several different types of lettuce. I planted two or three seeds in each little egg hole, and as soon as those sprout, I will pop them up so that they'll become not quite full size heads, uh, but decent size heads so that I can cut and come again with those. And that'll, those will last me all winter long. And then over here in this one, I have cilantro and spinach and bok choy, which I will grow inside as baby bok choy. And again, as soon as these sprout, I will pop them up and things will start to look a lot more lush and a lot more green around here. Just a quick little look at what else is going on here. We are down in the crawl space out that door. If you can see the door there, that leads out to the backyard to the garden. So this is my quick grab and go garden shelf there. And then if I bring you on around here, you will see the mess. So we just moved all these boxes out of the garage, which is where my kind of my garden station was. And now I have to get everything set up. So I still have tons of stuff on the floor. I've got soil, I've got all kinds of stuff. So in this space, I'm actually gonna have two grow racks eventually. So this will be probably my year round lettuce and leafy greens. And this over here, mm -hmm. 
which you can't see at all because it's dark. Let me see, there you go. This one is already wired up with lights and that will be my seed starting station. And these lights are so inexpensive. I will link these below. I'm also gonna link the little uh, two foot lights that I used in my kitchen. They are really inexpensive. It is so easy to get started, even if you don't have a window. You don't need any kind of fancy pots. You can use, you'll see over here, I do have quite a selection because this is a, a massive hobby for me, but I have solo cups. You can plant in solo cups. You can grow lettuce in solo cups. You can grow bok choy in solo cups. That's all you need. And here are all my egg cartons for starting all of my seeds. So I'll be getting together these shells. Those are my bulk seeds up there for growing microgreens and lettuce. Lettuce is so cheap, I just buy it in bulk. And uh, it does last a long time. I have heat mats, don't need it for these particular crops here. So my lettuce and other leafy greens are started. Are yours? Please tell me down below. You may be way ahead of me, in which case I applaud you. Please tell everyone else where you are in terms of growing and what you're going to be having fresh for the pantry challenge in January. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.